Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on your Kuang Shen how to change the scan settings. So this isn't going to be a long video, it is going to be a computer tutorial. Um, I've done the usual, so I've taken my, Bao, uh, my Kuang Shen using my Bao fan cable. Um, I have powered it on, then connected it to the computer. I have then gone onto the Chirp software and hit download from radio. I have then chosen the vendor as Kuang Shen. This is a drop down list. Model, we're going to put that to the UV5. Do not prompt this again. It's basically just to say that it's not officially supported, which Chirp isn't supported with any radio, I don't believe. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to download from the radio. Uh, if you want to just double check that the radio is connected, if there is an issue, there should be a blue LED light next to the antenna that is on. And also make sure you power the radio on, plug into the radio, and then plug the USB in when the power's on. If the power's not on, it will not work. So you can see I've got some channels um, tuned in here. Um, so basically, let me just close this other tab off. No. And then what we're going to do is we're going to first go onto the settings tab. It's going to download the settings. And then on the basic program settings, or just basic settings, we are going to look for scan resume mode. Here it is right here. Um, and basically... As you can see, you can choose what you want the radio to do when it's scanning. So that is when you're scanning through the different frequencies. So either it will resume after five seconds. So what that means is you'll scan through your radio frequencies. And then as it picks up a signal, it will play the signal for five seconds, then keep scanning. Uh, obviously, that's no good if you want to stay on the signal. Then there is resume after signal disappears. So if someone is just temporary broadcasting, it will start to play it, and then as soon as that signal disappears, it will then start scanning again. So this may be handy if you like all oh, this signals over now. We can do so, or what most people have it set to, and its default setting is stop scanning once it receives a signal. Um, I usually leave it on this. All you need to do is tap on the up button, which is highlighted with the letter B, and um, once it's once you press that, it'll continue to rescan until it finds another frequency, and then it will stop again. So all I'm now going to do, now I've changed the setting, is a drop down list, is go to radio and upload to radio. It's already got the setting saved, USB port, USB serial port, I'm just going to hit OK. And then do not prompt, because this is going to keep coming up every time you change any settings. So we're just uploading to the radio now, just let that do its magic. Boom, so my radio has just restarted itself and that is now complete. So now when you do a scan, every time it detects a station, it's gonna pause and leave on that channel. And if you wanna continue the scan, you're just gonna press the up arrow button or the button that has the letter B on it, whichever you see easiest. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.